Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to explore some activities that could be used to explore the difference and commonalities between visual programming languages and general purpose programming languages. In year seven and eight, when learners start to build knowledge and skill in implementing their algorithms in general purpose programming languages, you can introduce specific activities to help them translate what they have learned about programming constructs within visual programming languages into the general purpose programming language space. What is important to remember is that the core concepts that they have learnt, instructions, sequences, branching, repetition, algorithms, these are all the same in both language environments. Learners will have developed skill in composing visual programming blocks to create their programs. They will be familiar with using data as variables in their programs and using specific blocks to support if statements and loops for repetition. In the remainder of this video, we will explore some activities that learners can use to help them see how these same concepts would appear in a general purpose programming language. One good example activity that can be used here is to explore the RoboBoogie application. RoboBoogie is an online, simple visual programming environment that is used to explore data and variables. As you can see in this video, you can control the movement of the robot's dance by specifying values for the degree of rotation of its arms and the rate of movement. This is a great environment that can be linked with activities in mathematics and also physics. However, one of the interesting aspects of the RoboBoogie environment is that you can easily switch to code mode and see how this would be represented in a general purpose programming language. In this application, as the focus is on data, you can only see the data variables that have been included as part of the program and not the remainder of the code. Learners can explore how data variables would look in a general purpose programming language and also how they could change the value of those variables in such a language. As you can see, there are multiple data types represented, integer values, floating point values and also Boolean values, which can either be true or false. You can also see how you can add comments to your program adding simple documentation that helps others and yourself understand and follow the code. The Blockly visual programming environment is a problem solving environment where learners use blocks to solve a range of different puzzles. While the Blockly puzzles ask learners to achieve specific tasks and therefore are not open-ended, they are fantastic for exploring the connection between visual programming and general purpose programming. For each puzzle, once the learner solves it by composing the programming blocks in the right way, they are then shown the equivalent code in a general purpose programming language called JavaScript. As you can see in this first example, once the learner solves the maze puzzle, they are shown several lines of JavaScript code that would do the same thing. By itself, this is probably a little abrupt. However, if accompanied by some classroom activities that help scaffold this transition, learners can investigate the relationships between the two forms of programming. For example, for each maze or other puzzle they are asked to solve, they could be asked to draw a flowchart describing the instructions and the algorithm required to solve the problem. Students are shown text-based language templates for creating variables, if statements and repetition along with instructions for movement as available function calls in the language. For example, move forward and turn left. Before they then create their solution using the programming blocks, they could be asked to draft their implementations using paper versions of the blocks. They then follow this by identifying what is the necessary information needed in the text-based language template to make it work. They can then test each case by implementing their algorithm in Blockly and then compare the answer shown with their own work. 